Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got a really fun video for you guys today. I have just a couple of new products to share with you guys today that we're gonna try out together, along with some other old favorites, a couple of which I have severely neglected. I'm in a really good mood today. Technically, it's not spring where I live. I mean, it's March 1st. We've got a little ways to go, but it was 55 degrees outside this afternoon, and we're gonna play with some fun, very spring-inspired colors that I'm very excited to share with you guys, including a new blush that I am in love with. I think it's beautiful. So I hope you guys are excited about it. Before we jump into the video, a special welcome to any of you that are new here. So happy to have you here. I hope that you enjoy this video today. And if you do, I hope that you'll consider subscribing before you leave. With all of that said, we do have a lot of makeup to put on. So let's just jump right to it. Okay, guys, we're going to kick things off with a little bit of foundation. I did already put a primer on. I used my Ofra Cucumber, Kohl's Cucumber Primer today. Today for foundation, I want to go in with this one. This is the Elf Camo CC Cream, a favorite of mine that I actually haven't used for a little while. It's probably been just a couple of months since I've used this. So I'm going to take, I think that's two pumps. I'm going to take this on a brush today. Normally, I like using my hands or a sponge with this one, but my nails are still kind of drying. So I'm trying to be a little more careful with my nails as to not dent them. And I think the brush is going to be my best chance at keeping that from happening. So by the way, this is the It Cosmetics. I can't remember. I always forget what this brush is called. I think it's called like the Airbrush Flawless Filter. No, I'm just making up words now. It's the double-ended It Cosmetics brush. I'll link it down below for you guys if you're interested. I'm just kind of stippling it on before blending it just to kind of get the product where I need to get it. In fact, come to think of it, I don't know that I've ever actually used this with a brush. Most of the time I use this with my hands, actually. I don't know. There's just certain, found there's a lot of foundations that I feel like don't work very well with a brush, at least for me. Anyone else get annoyed when they get foundation on their earrings? I should probably wait to put my earrings in until after I put on my makeup, but again, my nails are wet. <laughs> I think the brush works well. It just takes a little bit longer to blend it. I think I am going to actually take a sponge very gently. This is actually just a dry sponge. I'm just going to run this along the edges, kind of smudging out that edge around my hairline where I tend to get foundation that kind of gathers right there. So I like to just kind of like press it, not into my hair necessarily, more into the sponge to try and pull some of that off so I don't have that weird mark where you can see like foundation and then a different color in my scalp. I like it to kind of blend in. Most people think about lines of demarcation around their neck, but I'm telling you guys, this is where you really notice it, at least on me. And that's coming from someone with blondish hair. I imagine if you have darker hair than me, that's probably even more of a challenge. Okay, there we go. Let's add some concealer. So I want to take my Dior Forever Skin Concealer today. I have the shade 1W. I'm going to use this as a eye primer and a concealer. Such a good one. It's definitely in my top three high-end concealers, favorite high-end concealers. And I'm going to use the back end of that brush to blend this in. I feel like if I can give my nails like three more minutes, they'll probably be, will probably be in the clear. By the way, isn't this nail color just so fun and cute? I was just in a very spring mood today. All right, I'm going to add just a little bit of powder just to my eyelids and to my forehead. This is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and my e.l.f. Kabuki brush. I don't think they sell this brush anymore, do they? This brush is so old, you guys. This has been around for, I think I've had this for like 10 years. Kind of applied that everywhere. But that's all right. Let's move on to some bronzer. So I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand today. I use this. Oh, that reminds me. I'm going to have to use a sponge with this one. I think I'm getting close on my nails drying. So I cross my fingers that they're thoroughly dried. I'm just going to take the back end of this. This is a Wet n Wild sponge. I'll wet it with my little spray bottle here. And then I'm going to take my contour wand and we're just going to go kind of one side at a time. I usually just place like a line right there, just kind of lightly. And then I just take my sponge immediately and blend it in right away. This is a really beautiful product. I think I've complained a few times about how pricey it is. It is very pricey for such a small little item. Look how quick and easy that went on. So nice. Beautiful. Let's turn my lights down just a little bit. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better. We're going to add a little bit on the side of the nose. I don't always do this with this product. I have to say, you guys, for the last like week and a half, I have been contouring my nose most of the time, which I, I, I don't know. I go through phases with the nose contour. I kind of feel like I'm not very good at it, so I don't know that I 
need it. Like, I don't know that I'm doing it right. I'm a little bit self-conscious about whether or not I got the nose contour down. But this is one of those products I don't think you can screw up. I'm in a little bit under my lip here. And then a little bit along my forehead on both sides. Make sure I close that back up. That is the hardest thing about this product. I always have to make sure I close up the lid. When it's in. I don't know if you guys can see, this has almost like a red or like a purpley undertone to it. That just, I don't know, somehow I think the color makes it look super natural. Very nice. All right, let's move on. So I have a new blush that I'm very excited to try out today. This was actually sent to me by Persona. They sent me a little message on Instagram asking me if they could send me their new blush in the shade Bubble, which of course I said yes. I'm a big fan of all things Persona and I do really love their blushes. So I can't wait to try out this shade. It's very different than the other pink shade they have, the one in Carmel. That one's more of like a mauve kind of cooler tone. Wait till you guys see this color. It is so, so fun. Honestly, I already looked at this today. I know this looks intimidating. Three or four years ago, a color like this would have scared me, but I actually really love these bold pink colors. I have a couple of them in my collection that I reach for in my collection when I'm just in the right mood, but this is a shade, I think this is gonna be really fun to play with. I'm curious to see how pigmented this will go on. We'll go on pretty light-handed initially, but I can't wait to try this. I think this is such a beautiful color. It's a bright pink, but it has this subtle bit of almost purple or lavender in it, like a cool toned. I mean, it's got a true cool tone to it that I think is really interesting. So enough talking about it. Let's give this thing a try. Today I'm going to take my refer number five brush. This has become my favorite blush brush. There's just something about the shape of this brush that just works so perfectly for blush. I tried to wipe it off really well. I should probably wash this thing. It's been a while. All right, so let's give this thing a try. I'm just going to barely tap my brush into there. Oh, good. Not, not too powdery, not too, not too much comes off on your brush, which I like, especially with really pigmented blushes, if you need to build them up. Get a little bit more. I don't need to be quite so light-handed, I don't think. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. That's a really fun color. And then, if you feel like you did go a little heavy-handed, which I may have, I'm just going to go around the edges with my sponge. Honestly, this does happen to me sometimes with really any blush. And I sometimes like going in a little heavy, and I think I've said this recently, but I like going in a little more heavy and then taking my sponge and just going around the edges and kind of just pressing it into the skin. And it kind of diffuses some of the color, makes it look a little bit more natural. That is a beautiful color, a really fun, kind of happy color for springtime. And what do you know, matches my nails. Let's top it off with a little bit of highlighter. So I pulled out my Makeup Revolution Just My Type highlighter today. Let's add a little bit of this right on top of where we put that blush. Also going to add a little bit to my eyelids, to the top of my nose, to my upper lip. Although I have to say, you guys, I think I need to start phasing out of the upper lip highlight. My lips are just getting too lined to do that. It does emphasize the lines in your lips if you put a highlighter on top of your lips, but I still like to do it. I don't know. I just love highlighter so much. I want to put it anywhere that I can possibly get away with putting it. Mm, such a great highlight. Let's move on to, let's do my brows next. So I'm going to take this brow pencil. This is the NYX Precision Brow Pencil. This was actually a recommendation from you guys. I want, actually, I want to get a little more use out of it, but first I'm going to add a little bit of my e.l.f. Shape and Stay Wax. Then take the spoolie on that brush, brush them up. And then just lightly fill them in. By the way, I have mine in the shade Blonde. It's actually a really nice pencil, especially if you want something that's going to fill in really quickly. This one does a really good job. Let's add some brow gel. I'm going to take my Bare Edge Brow Fixer. I just talked about this in my favorites video a couple of days ago. I love this brow gel. We're going to add just a little bit of this to my brows to kind of keep them at attention. Okay, perfect. Let's move on to eyeshadow. So I do have a new little, small little product that I picked up that I want to try out today. And it's this little duo from Milani. I just talked about this one right here in my recent favorites video. This is the duo in the shade BFF. So today I was in my drugstore. I wanted to see if I could pick up one more. So I went with the shade Soulmate. This one's got a nice deep berry in it. I thought we could actually combine these two together. So I'm going to use these two mainly and then maybe pop a little bit of this shimmer on my inner corner. In fact, maybe we'll use this color 
and the crease and use these two just kind of together. Does that sound okay? Although for some reason today when I was picking these up, I noticed they were $4.97 at my drugstore. I think in my favorites video, I mentioned they were between three and $5. So technically I wasn't wrong, but somehow today buying two of them at $4.97 made me realize I'm only getting four little tiny shadows for 10 bucks. Felt a lot less affordable than I initially thought that it was. So keep that in mind. This eye look we're doing today, even though these are both drugstore and kind of affordable, I mean, for 10 bucks, I feel like that's kind of a lot. I don't know. Sometimes you guys, I just, I have, my opinion on whether things are affordable or not kind of varies depending on my mood, depending on, in fact, I think today we had actually just gone to the dollar store, which I have to say, make a little announcement, has officially now converted to the dollar 25 store. I heard rumors that was coming, but I have to say for just the handful of things we bought, it felt, it felt really expensive to me. I definitely felt that one in the wallet. So maybe when I went back over to my drugstore to pick this up, kind of, I was just in that like, man, I need to save some money kind of mindset. And this just seemed more expensive than it did the first time I tried it out. So I don't know. Any of you guys do that? I do the same thing anytime I go into like a discount store, like a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx. If anything is over $20, I think that's like outrageously priced. But then if I was to buy something like at Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack for that price, I'd be like, wow, that's such a great deal. I take a little bit of that same color on my lower lash line. I remember at Christmas time, I was at the Nike factory store buying my son. He needed some socks. Like he really likes the Nike tube socks because they fit his foot the best. My kids are just, they're picky about their socks. Anyways, I went in there to buy in some socks. They had some shorts that were on sale for $29.99. And at the Nike store, that looks kind of like a good deal. So I bought them for Christmas for him and I got home and realized I spent $29 on a pair of sweat shorts. I never would have done that if they would have been at TJ Maxx. So this is just that same color. I'm just kind of building up a base and then we're really gonna go in with this one right here. So let's do that now. Let's take this. Let's start with the dark color first. I wanna lay down that dark base and then we're gonna go on top with the shimmer. Let me actually swatch the shimmer first. I'm just curious to see. Ooh, that is beautiful. Ooh, you guys. <gasps> that looks promising. That's gonna be fun to play with. Let's start with the dark matte though first. So we're gonna take that on my rougher number 14. Wait, no. Yeah, 14 brush. I get the 14 and the 13 mixed up. I kind of use them interchangeably, although I do think I like the 14 a little better because it's just a little bit longer and more flexible. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Pretty impressed with these formulas though. I don't know, I feel like Milani kind of got, I know they had those original gold palettes like the Soft and Sultry from like, what was that, like four years ago? That everyone loved and then they kind of went downhill at least in I feel like the minds of a lot of YouTubers. Honestly, I didn't try some of their palettes after those releases, so I can't say from my own experience. I just kind of looked over them after hearing some people give some of those palettes some negative reviews. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm surprised that these seem to be really good quality. These mattes are Gorgeous, blend perfectly. Now let's go in with this shimmer right here. This looks so pretty. I'm gonna pop this all over kind of the center of the lid. I'm gonna leave the inner third open and we'll kind of blend that out and then overlap it with the other lighter shimmer. This is probably a shade I have within my collection. I mean, I don't know that this, this color combination is gonna be super unique if you have a lot of berry tones. More than anything, I just was so impressed with the formula of that first one. I wanted to try one more to see if they were consistent. And so far it looks like they are. Okay, back to that number 14 brush. Nothing left on this. I'm just going to blend around that shimmer, kind of up through the crease. Just don't like to see like a definitive line where the shimmer starts and ends. And then I'm gonna take a clean pinky finger and I'm gonna smudge out that front edge. Same thing on the other side. And now jumping over to the other duo, the BFF duo, we're gonna take that shell pink right there. Same thing, I'm gonna use my pinky for this today. I'm just gonna be very careful not to get this on my under eye. I'm gonna pop that on that inner third and overlap it right at that edge right there. I'm gonna take that finger and I'm really just gonna press along that edge just kind of back and forth so there's not an obvious line where the two shades intersect. Now I'm going to take my rougher number 21 brush. I'm just going to go in with one more layer of that same shade. Just a little easier to control with a brush. I want this to kind of go a little further in closer to the lash line. 
kind of drag that just along that lash line about halfway across. Okay, now back to that number 14 brush. I'm just going to blend this lightly through that crease. There we go. Let's add some liner. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Brown liner today. I'm just going to add a little bit to my lash line and to my waterline. Now I'm going to take a couple of coats of my Butter London Power Up Mascara, then I'll come back and we will finish off with the lips and we'll be all done. Here we have it guys, finished eyes. I think they are gorgeous. This is such a pretty eye look. Very impressed with this one too. This is a great little combination by the way. The BFF duo and the Soulmate duo does put it at 10 bucks, which is kind of pricey for four eyeshadows, but overall I'm very happy with them. So let's move on to the lips. So today I actually want to go with my ColourPop lip liner in Oh Snap. I want to do like a cooler toned kind of pink lip. So we're going to add a little bit of this overline just a bit. All right, and on top of that, I'm just taking a little bit of my Persona lip gloss in the shade pink. I love this gloss. I think it's been a while since I've raved about my Persona glosses, which by the way are some of my very favorites. I always talk about the Fenty ones, but the Persona ones sit here in my front little compartment that has like, it's like its own special place. Apart from my other lip glosses, because I love them so much and I use them so often, this one is really great. And one more thing to finish off, I just saw this in a bin that it doesn't really belong in, the e.l.f. Glow Mist, which I really like this setting spray. I used it for like a week and then I forgot about it. So we're going to use it again today. Let's give a couple of sprays of this. Oh, the sprayer's a little bit stronger. It's not quite as misty as the um, ColourPop one, but it smells amazing. All right, you guys, there it is. Here is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today. What did you guys think of this blush? Have any of you guys picked this up? I know it's been out for, I think, I think like a month now. Super beautiful, really fun and brightening. Like this is such a fun, brightening color. I would imagine this color will look good on just about anybody because I feel like if you have really fair skin, if you go in with a light hand, this can give you that like really natural flush look, but it's also bright enough and kind of vibrant enough that it would show up on medium to deep skin tones as well, I would imagine. So fun shade. Thank you, Persona, for sending me this. It's definitely going to be a standout in my collection. I will definitely be reaching for this. I'll keep it in my top drawer, in fact. Love the little duo as well. I love this eye look today. I think it's gorgeous. And honestly, if you wanted something deeper and more smoky rather than the BFF one, which I do love, you could actually just get this one and just use your highlighter on your inner corner. That would probably work just fine and then just use this kind of blend that shimmer if you want something to blend into your crease you'll probably do that if you want to keep things under the five dollar mark but that is all i have for you guys today i hope that you enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for stopping by hope you guys are doing well so happy it is march lots of fun spring fills here on my channel this month so if you are not yet subscribed let me remind you one more time to do that before you leave but that is all for today thanks again you guys i will see you very soon in my next video bye some kids upstairs fighting probably over the freaking oculus. Anyone else have an oculus? I hate that stupid thing. I'm so upset that we got that for Christmas. <laughs> you will not find me in the metaverse. I refuse. I refuse. We don't talk about Bruno, but... Hey, just one sec, sweetie. Come on. You can sit right here for a minute. Watch me turn off my movie because he thinks I was watching too much.